If you're part of the fitness community, chances are you've heard of the Spartan Race or know someone that's done one. Obstacle course racing became popular in 2009, and the first Spartan Race event was held in 2010 in Vermont, and there were roughly 500 competitors. The race is now being held in over 30 countries. There are races on every continent. So how did a small race in Vermont grow into the global phenomenon it is today? Joe DeSanta is the founder and CEO of the Spartan Race. Born in Queens, New York, he co-founded the Spartan Race. He's also a best-selling author and he's spoken at a variety of conferences including Google Talks. Joe understands a thing or two about having grit. At the core of it is changing your frame of reference. So how, how do you fight for milk every day when you've got an abundance of milk? And uh, for me, what I do is I do 300 burpees in the morning. They're terrible. It brings me back to a third world country. <laughs> I want to escape, right? I want to get back to just uh, not doing burpees. And I take a cold shower. And then the rest of the day is easy. No matter what bad news you get, you're not doing burpees. It's not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take a step back and ask the question, where did this idea for the Spartan Race come from? And what has it become today? Joe used to compete in ultra marathons, and back in 2000 he was running a 350 mile winter adventure when he became stranded and had to dig himself beneath the snow to survive. It was here that he claims he made a distinction between difficult situations and desperate experience, which inspired him to create his own endurance race. But at that time, the idea of creating an obstacle course race seemed like ridiculous to him. Well, I'm an entrepreneur at heart, so I'm doing these races and I'm thinking, I could do one like this, this would be fun. Boy, wouldn't it be a lot of fun to own a business where you're doing something you love? And I'm with uh, this buddy of mine in New from New Hampshire, and every time I'm with him, he's like, you know, you should do an obstacle inspired. I'm like, that's silly. Who would, who would do, like, he's like, barbed wire. I'm like, it's ridiculous. Back in 2009, Joe had a list of 30 names that he could choose from for his new company. In an interview, he noted that the name Spartan just jumped off the page. Later that year, he created a one-page business plan, and the company was later incorporated as Spartan. The races in 2011 and 12 were a lot different than they are now. If you talk to the athletes that compete in those races, they'll describe the obstacles as kind of just being thrown together. There was definitely no course maps given to them beforehand, but this was all intentional. The organizers wanted them to go into the unknown. But today's race is really well organized. Something that the company did that I think is really smart is creating the Spartan Trifecta. See, once you complete one race, they gave you an incentive to do another race. But if you want to complete the Spartan Trifecta, you'll need to conquer these three races. The first race you'll run is a Spartan Sprint. There's 5 kilometers of running and 20 obstacles. The next race you'll run is a Super Sprint. There's 12 kilometers of running and 25 obstacles. The final race is the Beast. There's 20 kilometers of running and 30 obstacles. Together, these three races make up the Spartan Trifecta. In 2014, a variation of the traditional Spartan race was created. It's called the Spartan Stadion, and this race takes place in baseball stadiums in the USA, as well as other countries. Some of the stadiums include City Field in New York, Fenway Park in Boston, and National Park in Washington. See, so what makes this race different from the Spartan race is that some of the obstacles are different. Unlike the Spartan race, you get to conquer obstacles like the dead ball, jump rope, and low crawl. Another difference is the 15 burpee penalty instead of the traditional 30 burpee penalty in the Spartan races. Now the environment for the Spartan Stadion is different than the Spartan race, but the goal is the same, cross the finish line and get that medal. In closing, I think everyone should run Spartan race at least once. Yeah, you're going to feel nervous when you sign up, and you might not even know how to get started, but my advice is just to sign up for the race and it'll give you the motivation to prepare yourself. If you enjoyed today's video on the history of the Spartan Race, please give it a thumbs up.